Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I'm pretty sure I didn't get the total like the total awesomest most uh, bonus for minerals down there in the bottom right that I could have gotten uh, but I was having a hard time spend finding a definitive source online and I spent two minutes doing it which is long enough so heading to cover Going to what did they think they were gonna do? They're like, Ugh. they're like teeny tiny. Unarmored quarians. That max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood. To be fair, they may not have known it was there. Was, was... This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Yeah, but I went down to veteran mode, so we should be okay. Overload will take out their shield. Oh hold on. Oh no, okay. I need to get rid of the shields. Because, um... I have my... I have my rocket launcher. Okay. Oh yeah, I have other weapons now. Here you. Oh no, Jacob. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, now we bring back Jacob. Going weapons. Got a hurt. Did I switch? Give me the pistol, not the machine pistol. Okay, I'm done. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, look at that. Also, yes, my my brief foray into. Uh, Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. My brief foray. Oh, no, I knew it. Good locks. On to the, um, forums. Did mention that it, the, the game is real cheap. This looks interesting. Oh, yes, I love doing that. So, uh, get as much money as you can from all the friggin' What do you call it? Um, little things. Wait. Okay. Uh, from all the little kiosks, the little banks. Just make sure I don't. Oh well. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No. 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 Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. I think I will reload that because uh, I thought this was like, I, yeah, I messed up. Tally was in the other room and you're supposed to go talk to her first. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Max. <laughs> Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. 
We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Which is kind of a weak argument. Even in remote human colonies, you would think there would be, you know, there's got to be other, like, species out there. There's got to be other, like, Asari, Pater maybe not Paterian, but, like, Turian, anything, you know, visiting or trading or something, even on remote colonies. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms oh, didn't wait. find the collectors aren't. Oh, they were using technology specifically designed. I want to know to more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni-Tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Nah, I, I think I'm missing that because I didn't go talk to her. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. I was so sad. We're ready for pickup. When I, it was like the first, second time. It's probably the second time I played it. Honestly, maybe I was going too fast, and uh, I freaking didn't get her the Geth data, and I was so sad. She was so angry at me, Shepherd. like. Good work on free In those cutscenes. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abduction. Confirmed. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. 
Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Hmm. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Mm. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clan. He already knows all of my friends off the top of his head. He's kept an eye on them. Not just for my own interest, like for, for, for knowing that I would ask these questions, but out of his own interest, I think, like, curious to know how these individuals would live their lives after contact with me. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. He walks a fine line between not like giving orders but not giving orders you know like suggestions and he'll say things like you know be ready but he says it in such a way that it's almost not an order but you could construe it as such and it potentially is you know like he just he walks this really gray area of like he's kind of in charge of me but he isn't we're working as equals but we're not you know like it's this like facade illusion like he's not going to tell me exactly what to do but he is going to tell me what the best option is and you know by not being an idiot I'll have to do it that way you know what I mean you worry about the collectors I'll make sure my team's ready good two things before you go first Head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian Solus. Scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. See? I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might <gasps> like. I hear he's one of the best. <laughs> Someone you can trust. Yay! Joker! <laughs> hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. 
I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. Got a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. <laughs> they only told me last night. I tear up every time. This music is... And this ship is so beautiful. <laughs> they didn't just recreate me. They recreated and upgraded both me and my ship. She's so beautiful. I'm not even joking, I'm actually tearing up. It's good to be home, huh? Come oh on. my gosh. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Just mom, proud mom and dad. Oh. I actually cried when I first saw this. I did not expect it. Like my very first time playing, I was so traumatized over losing my ship in the beginning and then I just was not expecting this. Look at her go. Oh, she's so powerful. She's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, there was no, there was really no reason to bring Vitor. Like, he's not gonna tell us anything else. He's just gonna be more traumatized if he's taken away from the Quarians who understand his medical care better, you know? His Omni tool data is what we needed, and that's what Tally gave us. Like, there was absolutely no reason to bring him with us. Headshots from Blue Superior Damage. Yeah, look at my hoodie! Look at my hoodie! Joker, back in his place of honor. Okay, actually, this feels really weird to be wearing a hoodie. I feel like I should be in more formal clothes <laughs> for this. I feel out of place. <laughs> but it's the only, I think it's the only real N7 gear you get. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. Everything else is Cerberus issue. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical oh, place to start. Oh, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Almsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh, it is very fitting for Joker to like have jump. Like his 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 allegiance is not necessarily to the Alliance. His allegiance is to his ability to fly. The Alliance is the best place to get that before, and now, of all people, he has zero qualms <laughs> hopping over into Cerberus as long as they let him fly. I don't know. It's just funny, right? Like everyone's got their reasons, and their different paths that they walk, and different motivations. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Her hair is so luscious. Also a military man through and through. Oh, hey, it's her. Yeah, okay. Private terminal, that's right. 
Elevator. The elevator bothers me. Professor. This ship is beautiful. Welcome aboard. Yes, Chambers. Kelly Chambers, that's her name. Um Oh, we Zaid, we have the we have the all the DLC stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, the design. Okay, hang on. I gotta I gotta look around a little bit at this brand spanking new shiny ship of mine. In HD. We're not gonna let me do anything. Anyway, it bothers me that this ship doesn't have um it doesn't have stairs. Which, as we noticed in the beginning episode, the only reason I was able to get in an emergency, in a dire emergency, the only reason I was able to get a Joker is because we had stairs. The elevator wasn't working. In any building, anywhere, not having stairs, if you have multiple floors, not having stairs is a severe, like, it's like a danger, it's like a hazard. And it's stupid. And I know that they did it for a reason in the game, but it bothers me <laughs> for in real life implications. Um, really quick though, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna talk to Tally. I'm gonna redo all of that because that's the kind of person I am. Okay, hopefully I'll insert this back in where it belongs a little further back. But here we are. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. Oh, is that it? He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Oh, I th thought this was like a cutscene. I guess not. Never mind. I'm glad there are some survivors. I didn't think anybody was going to survive. Move, and there's nothing to loot. Okay, never mind. I'm glad I saved where I did. Let's let's get this over with. I know <gasps> her Chambers. hair. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander. She Chambers. looks very different. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Mm. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. You're a little flirty. You're a little flirty, but to be fair. This is not a regulation ship. This is Cerberus. It's very much more of a less of a hierarchy here. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. She is actually handy for that. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh. But Cerberus has noble mm -hmm. objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology. Save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity. But that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideas. <laughs> I hate how this one like flips things around sometimes. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Mm. Don't worry. We'll defeat the collectors. I trust you implicitly. 
The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I'd drop you as a kind of a jerk. I better go. Okay. She's Delta just. Would like to see you up on the bridge she's here. just very empathetic. She's just a very, very empathetic woman and expresses herself more eloquently, more emotionally than others do. Joker! Joker, we're flying! We're flying her again! Oh, we're gonna have. This is gonna be an issue. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. <laughs> It's like ship cancer. <laughs> when she was beautiful and quiet, like, okay. <laughs> it's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. <sighs> Such a downer. <laughs> yeah, I am. I really am. It does. It is kind of a downer thing, but it is a good thing to put into perspective with Joker, right? Is he's like, you know, he really wants this to work. I swear we got some lateral drift. The old Normandy never had that. Uh, also, he will just start talking if you just hover back here. He'll just talk. <laughs> he just says things. They've uh, they've revamped his personality a bit I've been too. About taking up bullfighting. What do you think? I I'm sorry, I'm hovering. Yes, Shepard. Uh, wait. Uh, That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Uh, she's very nice, and she sounds kind of sad, and I don't want her to be sad. Um, but let me call this episode here before we get into chatting with everybody who's currently on the ship, and then we gotta go, oh, hang on. And then we gotta go find... Morden, and then we're gonna go find Thane. Morden is locked in as your first one. You always have to get Morden first. Which is fine. Also, these scars on my face, for those who don't know, will eventually fade, unfortunately. I can't get any closer than this. Um, in Dragon Age Inquisition, if you kind of tilt the camera like this, it, it like slides up and goes closer to your face. Um, but yeah, when you're Paragon, your paragon actions will cause them to heal and when you are renegade your actions renegade actions cause them to actually get bigger and brighter um i was going to look into a mod though that would let you have blue paragon scars because i think that's cool anyway i am going to go ahead and say thank you to my patrons real quick so thank you to all of my patrons but especially to my sapling tier patron patrons uh specifically scalamunker uh, thank you very much, and Reese Galito. Thank you very much, and I want to say thank you again to or again uh, to Christopher, who's a tree tier patron. Um, each one of those tiers gets an individual shout out, um, and that's about well, no, <laughs> that is about it at this point. Oh, and also a written written on the screen. Every single patron, acorn, sapling, tree gets written on the screen as a thank you. So um, I'm still kind of trying to come up with good ideas for actual other rewards so if anyone ever had any ideas let me know but yes thank you all so much for watching uh patron and non-patron alike and i hope to see you in the next one